If you want to know what they know, it turns out you just have to turn on the news in the United States. He's been identified by officials as 22-year-old Salman Abedi, Manchester-born, of Libyan descent. Or read a newspaper. The New York Times didn't just print graphic crime scene photos depicting the evidence in detail. It published a map showing where the victims died and the bomber's body parts landed. Just the latest in a nonstop torrent of classified information leaking to the American press. Every day we are seeing new stories from damaging information from the investigation into Russian involvement in the U.S. election to embarrassing details from President Trump's discussions with foreign leaders. It's likely these leaders have a few private thoughts about President Donald Trump, and now undoubtedly they are also asking if their countries can trust him or the U.S. intelligence community, in part because of the president's own words. When he met with the Russian foreign minister, he divulged classified information about a potential ISIL bomb plot and then, unprompted, seemed to confirm the leaks that the information came from Israeli intelligence. I never mentioned the word or the name Israel. Never mentioned it. And that's not all. According to this leaked readout from the Philippines in Trump's phone call with that president, he divulged the location of two U.S. nuclear submarines, the top secret held by the U.S. Navy. The Trump administration says the problem isn't the secrets the president divulges. He's legally allowed to do it. But instead, they say the problem is unnamed sources in the intelligence community. But the leaks are not likely to stop, says former CIA agent Glenn Carl. So what's the alternative? If you leak about something egregious, frightening, dangerous to the republic, then maybe you can save it. And that's why you're having leaks now, because of the incompetence and the fear uh, about what the, our leaders are doing to the fabric of our institutions. Carl says many countries are changing what information it shares with the U.S. And he says if that continues in the long run, that will put innocent lives at risk in the U.S., and around the globe. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.